Orland Smart Pro R service tools are specifically developed to meet the needs of refrigeration technicians. All the benefits of our original kit, plus the Smart Pro R tools, allow temperature readings down to minus 40 degrees, fit any diameter pipe, allow multi coil superheat readings, and 10 times the signal strength. Find out more at SportlandOnline.com. I'm doing an inspection. We have a Fujitsu, which I can tell is working beautifully because it is nice and chilly. Besides missing a filter, it's perfect. And I don't know where the remote is for this thing either. So those are the two problems there. I'm not sure about that. I have to get the model number and all that good stuff. But I always like those Fujitsus. They said the main system wasn't working. Of course, this is a foreclosure. Some grills falling out of the ceiling. Has some holes in the wall. Standard fare. So we have this one, the cool is on it says, and probably a little bit of a dirty filter usually. When we'll check and see what's going on, why it's not working. I walked in, it was nice and cool, but it was because of the Fujitsu. All this stuff right here, this is the mini split lines coming through the wall. What I don't get, and the drain comes out on the pavers here, so it'd be kind of cool just to open up a couple pavers and put like a French drain or something right there. Because that's kind of nasty. And the lines run around here. But hell, I think I just as soon had the mini split hanging over here or something instead. Just put it on the roof or something like that where it empties into the gutter instead of having them run across there. What do you guys think? I just think it looks a little bit better. You can look in there. We can see our units over there. Sort of see the Goodman. We'll go see why the Goodman's not fired up. Looks like all of our... Let's see if our breakers are on. We have an off here. That's 60 amps. That shouldn't be our outdoor unit but we'll check and see Let's see what we have in here I don't see anything that looks tripped we have a bunch of double pull breakers so more than likely we have one of these right here is gonna be our condenser so we'll see if it's on and all that good stuff our Fujitsu outdoor unit over there is running really quiet first impressions from the Goodman you can see that the caps are missing off everything here could be a low charge issue to caps. Still sitting here, so I don't know what deals with that. But we have 13 Sear 2008 model. We have 0803 GSH, it's R22, 13 Sear, two and a half tons. So let's open up the control panel, see what it looks like in there, make sure we got power. But I'm sure we'll gauge up because of those caps missing. Blur CM174 here. Some fluke leads for it, thank you. 250 volts so we're good there see on the other side we probably won't have 250 volts because it might be a low pressure switch strip or loss of charge there we have zero volts so let's check and see if we first of all if we have a signal coming out here then we'll see how much gas is in the unit here with a single test gauge well it doesn't get much less than zero so we definitely have an issue there. I'm going to put some nitrogen gas on it and see what we can find as far as leaks. Nitrogen on it. You can see we're up near about 50 pounds. Kind of make sure you pull that disconnect too if you're going to try that because if you still got that cooling call and you put nitrogen in it, the low pressure switch is going to close and it's going to start running, which will not be good. So make sure, don't forget that. There's some burning up brazen right there, bud. Good grief. You can hear it. So I'm opening up and see what we find on the inside. In there a little bit. Back over here. If I can get some light over there. Hold on, guys. Right over here. Coil plate's kind of rusted out. It's actually falling apart over there. So I need a new evaporator coil. But you can try to braze those things up, but the coil's falling apart so bad it's going to just break again, I'm sure. So what? Find an evaporator here for the... ARUF 030-00A-1A-0411611167. I'm doing this for my benefit. 0411611167. So I'll track those down. Goodman coils are relatively cheap. So see if we can't switch this thing out and switch it over to 407C. Probably the best thing for this particular unit.